Good morning, beauties. Welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. Today we are going to do a get ready with me video because I have a whole bunch of new makeup that I am ready to try out for you guys today. Some of these things I bought, some of these things I was kindly sent in PR, and we're just going to get ready together. I'm going to tell you what's been going on because there has been a lot going on behind the scenes, and hopefully I am catching you in the morning. That way we can get ready for work together. If it is your first time here on my channel, I just want to say hello and welcome to all of you. My name is Steph, and I love I love talking about makeup. I love playing with makeup, but trying all of the new makeup so you guys don't have to. If that sounds like somewhere you want to be and something you want to see on pretty much a daily basis, do me a favor, click on that subscribe button, hit the bell next to it. That way you can be notified every time I do drop a new video. And if you're a fan of Get Ready With Me videos, and maybe you're curious about some of the products that I'm going to be trying out today, be sure to give this video a thumbs up before you go. As usual, I will have everything that I'm wearing in today's video linked and listed in the description box. Some of those links might be affiliate links. So if you do end up shopping, I thank you so, so much for supporting me and my channel. Let's dive on into it, guys. Let's get ready for, together for the day. If you guys want to see how this full face of new makeup is going to turn out, keep on watching. So we're going to start first with a product that I bought and I just received it in PR. So I'm going to save the one I bought for an upcoming giveaway. This is going to be from Lawless Beauty and it is their Forget the Filler Skin Plumping Line Smoothing Perfecting Cream. We're going to use this as primer today and I just want to read a couple of the, uh, the call outs on this one. It says it's going to improve the appearance of skin elasticity, reduce the appearance of wrinkles, and visibly smooth skin texture over time of course it does contain ox oxta Octa Peptide 3, which reduces the appearance of uh, expression wrinkles. Okay. Hexapeptide 8, which helps make the skin look uh, tighter and firmer. We all want that. And then Caffeine, Panthenol, and Black Tea Ferment, which are antioxidants that soothe the skin and help visibly brighten the skin tone. I love a good brightening skin cream. So we're going to try this as... Primer today, I'm sure you can use this as moisturizer. It is probably more intended as moisturizer. There is no, there's no real scent to it. Maybe like a slight moisturizer scent, but um, yeah, no real scent. And this one did come with like a little spatula. Here it is. Uh, you can find this right now on the Lawless website and of course on the Sephora website. That actually might be a little too much. I'm gonna some back. Now I already have my sunscreen on and I've already done my skincare, but um, we'll see. We'll see how this wears like on top of those products and of course underneath the foundation. And I do have a new foundation we're going to try out today. Really excited about that. Really excited that the Cowboys won on Sunday. Shout out. Go Cowboys. Okay, this feels really good. And it doesn't feel, it looks like it's going to be a thicker cream, but it's really a lightweight, it's a lightweight moisturizer. And I am a normal to oily skin type for reference. So next, we are going to try a new brand and a new foundation. So this brand is called Polite Society, and this is from the original founders of Too Faced Cosmetics, Jared and Jeremy. So I don't think either of them have any affiliation with Too Faced. I know Jared was the one kind of hanging back with it, but I don't know if he's totally relinquished it to, I think Estee Lauder is the one that now owns Too Faced, um, but they spun off and they did polite society now there's only a handful of products available on the Ulta website so I pretty much picked up one of everything that they had again not a lot of stuff to choose from you guys know I am a foundation junkie so I wanted to try this out this is their more than a pretty face skin caring foundation it's gonna be a medium to full coverage foundation with a natural finish this whole brand their whole I guess 
gimmick or so so to speak is uh, a skincare infused makeup line so this of course is going to have vegan hyaluronic acid which of course we know is going to help retain moisture help plump up the skin it has niacinamide and it has a willow bark which is going to help brighten the complexion it is free of parabens it's cruelty free no mineral oils d5 free i don't know what that means um no alcohol and no trolls so <laughs> no negativity here it's non-comedogenic and it is dermatologist tested in here you do get one fluid ounce of product i want to say that this retails for 42 dollars let me double check the app um yes 42 dollars and it comes in 30 different shades. The shade I picked up is shade Fair. So let's give this a good shake. You do get a pump. I think like this is cute packaging. This is plastic, but it kind of mimics the look of glass, frosted plastic bottle. And I'm going to pump some out. Yeah, that looks like it's going to be a really good shade match. I'm going to go in with my BK Beauty 101 foundation brush. And I'm going to start applying. I don't smell anything, so it must be fragrance-free, although it doesn't mention that here on the box, but I mean, I'm not smelling anything with it. I'm curious about this brand. I'm curious to see what the guys, what the boys are going to do with it. It appears that the boys are back, so we'll see. You know, uh, Too Faced was one of those brands, you know, back in the day that I was excited to try. Like they came out with really cute stuff. I remember the Clover palette. I still have the Clover palette. I thought that was so cute. Clover was, I think, Jared's dog. And, um, but after they sold, I feel like things just kind of went a bit downhill, kind of like Urban Decay. So we'll see. We'll see what the boys are going to be giving us with this polite society brand always down to try new makeup for you guys now i'm just pressing the remainder of the foundation that i have here into my skin i think it's providing really good coverage i do have a new setting powder well, this is going to be, I think, the third time that I use it, but it might be the first time I use it on camera. It's from Nikia Joy Cosmetics. It's her pink brightening setting powder. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Like, the first two times that I used it, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it under the eye area. So, we're going to see. I'm going to be using the new Tower 28 concealer right now. But so far, I think this foundation is applying well over that primer or that moisturizer. I think that's going to be more of a moisturizer than a primer. All right. I think it's as pressed in, as meshed in with the complexion as it's going to get. Now we're going to go in with the latest from Tower 28. This is their Mew Concealer. I forget the official name of this one. It's like One Swipe. One Swipe Concealer. And I have the shade BU in this one. I do have a Concealer Combat video where I am trying this one against the new House Labs. So I'll let you check that out if you haven't already. I always add concealer right here. Old acne scars, minor discoloration. My skin has been acting a little funny these last, this last week, I would say. I've been getting like little breakouts and stuff. Not too sure why. I'm just trying too many new products. But um, it seems to be doing better today. So we'll see. I need to have like a no makeup day. I need to I need to see when can I not film and just let my skin breathe. I like to do that at least once a week. So what has been going on with everybody? How has back to school been for all of you that went back to work, went back to school? I hope that everything is going well. So what's going on with me? I am, I have some interesting prospects for employment. I am going to be working with 
one of our and right now this is just going to be you know contract contract work um so it's not like it's full time or you know i think it's going to be more like seasonal and stuff but we'll see i don't know there's there's possibilities but i'm going to be working with one of our local car dealerships and um, I'm gonna see about doing like some marketing for them, some promo for them. So if you saw on my Instagram <laughs> this past weekend, you probably saw some not so typical posts from me. And uh, that's because it was a car. <laughs> I, I, I don't take pictures of my vehicle um, or anything like that. I mean, unless I'm doing like a check-in with the foundation and stuff which I think the foundation, the concealer have just meshed together really well. But um, I don't really like talk about what I drive or anything like that. It's not important. Now we're going to go in with the Nikia Joy Cosmetics Velvet Powder. And again, this is the new, this is the pink one. It doesn't say, it just says Velvet Finishing Powder, but it is the ultra pink. Let me go grab a little puff so we can do, uh, so I can apply the powder with. And that's what the powder looks like. So going back to what I was saying, um, I am going to be working again, like with one of the local dealerships here where I live, and I'm going to help them with, with marketing, with marketing, um, their infinity, infinity brand. And that is a brand that I have had in my, in my garage since 2011. I don't have one at the moment. So the car that you were seeing in those pictures, it's not mine. <laughs> That's not my car. That is too big to be my car, but it's a beautiful car. It's their new, um, it's their 2024 QX60 Autograph. It's a gorgeous vehicle, but it's just me. That vehicle has two back seats, <laughs> like room for seven. Uh, I rarely have more than two other passengers in my vehicle. So yeah, that would, that would not be the car for me. Uh, I have a smaller SUV, but I've been, and this is the reason why they, they asked me to, to kind of help them out is because, um, one of my friends is actually the, the one who runs the whole, the whole show over there. And, um, she knows how much I've loved the Infinity brand. I, I've always just had a really good experience. And I think I told you guys the other day that um, I used to have a convertible. It was an Infinity convertible. And I had that convertible for almost nine years. Um, I didn't really drive it as my everyday car. I had a small little economical car that I would use to commute back and forth to work in. I left that car in the garage and I only use it on the weekends. It was my dream car, really. I worked so hard to buy that vehicle. I had it again for almost nine years and I sold it last year, around this time last year. And, you know, um, I've just been a fan of the brand for so many years. So it really felt like this was the perfect, the perfect matchup, the perfect opportunity for us to kind of help each other. And for me to really like just help them with their marketing. I'm really excited about it because I've never had like a a marketing job outside of YouTube and the reason why I'm able to help them with that to have this new opportunity is because of my YouTube channel because I've come to to learn a lot about what this platform not just on YouTube but Instagram and social media as a whole what that can do for a business and um, I just want to say thank you Thank you because you guys have really helped me grow. You guys have really just given me a new life. And um, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited about this new chapter. Um, and I have also a second interview with an online college so that I could teach. So say a little prayer for me because the day that you're watching that uh, this video, I'll be um, having that interview. So I'm hoping that goes well. There's just, there's just a lot of hope. There's a lot of good things coming. I feel them. I'm claiming them. 
and I just can't wait and I hopefully I'll have more to share with you all soon but if you guys see some car content on my channel or on my Instagram just know that you know it's something that I'm trying out it's something that I'm helping with um, and if you can just give me a like <laughs> leave me a comment, say good job stuff. That would be, that would be awesome. But uh, I'll get into more details on it a little bit later. Maybe we'll do another get ready with me video so I can talk to you a little bit more about it. Um, and don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if you see a get ready with me video inside of a new car. It's not going to be my car. I have, I have a new car actually. I have a new, a new SUV that I bought um, in, in uh, Memorial Day. But um, unfortunately, it's not an infinity, but you know, maybe one day, one day I'll, I'll buy another one. I mean, who knows? Now I'm going to go in with the one size on till dawn uh, setting spray and give this a good shake. All right, for bronzer, I'm going to go into the new Hourglass Jellyfish palette. How many of you guys ended up buying your palette. I know a lot of you, you collect these year after year. I bought all three last year, although I was able to get one on sale and then the two I bought when they initially came out. This year, I only bought two. I bought this one, the Jellyfish, and I bought the Snake Color Story in the Owl packaging. So definitely, if you want to see some dupes alternatives for these palettes and you just want to see them, you know, swatched out and how they apply, check out the video video that I did on this. Thank you so much for the, the good response um, and all of the beautiful comments that you guys left on that video. Um, but I'm going to use the bronzer that is in this jellyfish palette. I'm just going to use my little beach cosmetics brush. I think this is the emerald brush. The name has already rubbed off. So that's what's going on with me right now. I'm just... I'm just excited. I'm excited about everything. I've really been enjoying doing YouTube full time. Um, I, it's just so, how do I want to say, like, I, I don't feel so overwhelmed. I don't feel stressed out. I like that I can, you know, work my own hours, you know, um, and work from home, especially. So I have some home projects. I, I've been kind of mentioning this to you guys. So I redecorated my living room and now I am going on to the bathroom as far as not a redecoration, like a total remodel. I have, I have a little plumbing issue right now in my bathroom. There is a small leak somewhere. We don't know exactly where it's coming from but it is uh, ruining my floor. I have bamboo flooring uh, throughout most of the house. So um, I've been buying little things here and there, like, uh, like I bought a new toilet, I bought the floor already. I've just been slowly accumulating things um, just because like I don't wanna have to pay for everything like all at once. So, um, now I just need to find somebody to do the work um, and to do the work rather fast because I only have one bathroom down here downstairs. I've mentioned to you guys before my house does have like a garage apartment but I mean I'd have to go outside and then up the stairs to go use it. I do have a half bathroom outside where my jacuzzi is but I mean I don't want to have to get up in the middle of the night and go out there to the bathroom so like it's like I need to whoever's gonna do my project like I need them to do it within like two days you know so that's what I have going on and then I want to do I want to upgrade my kitchen a little bit just um I'm gonna paint the cabinets myself but I'm gonna do I want to get some new countertops like I already bought the new faucet for the sink I want to replace the sink as well and I do need to get a new stove top so I have gas here in my in my home and um, I need to replace the stove top uh, because I have a separate like built-in oven 
wall oven and so it's just a stove top I need to get so I got I got projects I got things and, and it helps that I'm here at home so that I can oversee those things that are going on so here's the polite society blush palette so this is gonna be the highlighter which I don't know that might be a little too dark for me we'll see mm, no maybe not yeah actually maybe not so what I want to do um I think I'm going to start first with this blush and then I'll go into this one. So this one has more of like a matte finish and this one you can see it has more of like a glowy finish. So I'm going to use my Refer 04. Just place that here. I know a lot of you have been shopping for your fall eyeshadow palettes. Guys, it's just starting if you can believe it. There is a lot more to come, a lot. And I know of one indie brand release you guys are gonna go crazy for. I can't say what it is, what brand it is, but trust me, you're gonna be finding out really soon. And I need to start filming with it because it is a, a rather large collection. And it is stunning, stunning. So I'll leave you, I'll leave you guessing. <laughs> okay, I like this blush. That is some good payoff there. Now I'm gonna dip into the glowy one. I'm just gonna focus that a little higher up. Kind of just wrap it around. Okay, I like that. I like that. Now I'm gonna use my Olimar Cosmetics highlighter brush and let's go into this one. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, I like that. It looked like it was going to be too dark, but I don't think so. Ooh, okay. I'm liking the complexion. Let me just tap over this with my blush brush. I think it all looks really good. Okay, guys, I'm going to pop off camera to take care of the brows. And then when I come back, I have a new Adept Cosmetics Sumerian Sunset Palette. Ooh, how beautiful does that look that we're going to play with. All right, so brows are on. Now I want to put on a lippy. So I'm going to use one of the new Unearthly Cosmetics lip liners. This one is in the shade Fiery. I think I've used this one before on camera, but I love them. And at like six or seven dollars each, you can't beat it. I do have a, a rather new affiliate code with Unearthly. I know just stuff that will give you 10% off your order. Now I'm putting the lip liner because we are going to be doing um, a lip plumping gloss from Polite Society. And I just kind of want to fill in a little bit. Now I'm curious to see if this lip plumping gloss is going to be like the Too Faced lip injection. That's a little too much for me. That's what it looks like. So this one, the official name of it is Big Mouth Lip Plumping Gloss. Mmm. Oh, it tastes good. Uh, it's tingling. It's tingling. Oh, that is such a beautiful color. Wow, paired with that lip liner. So Unearthly Lip Liner in Fiery, and then I think this is the only lip gloss that they have. It's tingling, but it's not like unbearable. I would put it on a scale of one to 10. I think I put it at like, <clears throat> I think I put it at like an eight. Yeah, I think I would put it at about an eight, but this is a beautiful color. This is a beautiful pairing. Now we're gonna move into the eyeshadow palette. I'm so excited for this one. I know some of you have gotten your palettes already. Woo! And I do have a code with Adept Cosmetics as well. I believe, I'm gonna put it down here, Steph or Steph 10. I always forget. I always forget. I think it's Steph. And that will give you 10% off of your order. Thank you to all those who use my code to purchase your new Sumerian Sunset Palette. I want to say that this is still in stock or it's on pre-order. No, I think it's still, I think it's still available if you want to get it. So, okay guys, I'm going to move this up to a nine on the gloss because... Whoa, it's really, it's really starting to tingle. Okay, 
so we got some nice greens in here we got this baby yellow shade right here so i am going to start with a yellow work into the green and then we're going to use the shade to deepen up the outer corner i apologize i'm not going to be pronouncing these shade names they're all star trek references and i am not a trekkie so um but i like that i like that adept cosmetics like that's what they're into so i think it's i think it's totally cute but uh, i'm going to start with the shade first uh, and we're going to focus that in the inner corner and i did prime my eyelids already with the bella beauty bar eyeshadow primer i'm going to use my gain beauty Beauty E01 and we're gonna focus that right in here I'm gonna work this upwards towards the brow bone as well you can see a little bit a little hint of yellow there bring it down now on a refer 14 I'm going in with the green I'm going to blend that into the crease. I'm going to go back in with the yellow. Now on a refer 13, I'm going in with that other green. More of like a grungy green. I'm just going to focus that out here. I cannot wait to dive into some of these beautiful duo and multi-chromes. Let me know how you've been enjoying your palette. I know a lot of you got yours over the weekend or you got it right before the weekend. They did start shipping them on, um, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday of last week. Going back in with the first green shade just to blend them. Now I'm going to do the shade for the lower lash line. Taking that shade on a BK Beauty A504. All right, now it's time to apply some of these beautiful shimmer shadows. Oh, I don't even I don't even know where I want to start. Um I think I'm going to go in cuz they all have like when you move the palette around they have different reflex i really want to use this one this one looks really interesting but i think i'm going to start with this one this one on the outer half inner half and then do one of these like in the center maybe this one in the center so i'll start first with this shade i'm using a damp morphe m124 you know what i forgot the glitter primer Adept Cosmetics, they always recommend using some type of glitter primer before you go in with their shadows. And you saw that I did get a little bit of fallout there, but that's my fault. All right, now I'm going to go in with the shade for the inner half. I do spray the brush after I pick up the product. I just use some setting spray. I'm using the Glam Light Rick and Morty setting spray. so pretty all right now I'm gonna go in this shade see it looks like it has a little bit of green so I'm gonna pick that up with my finger put that right here wow I'm gonna also use this shade for the inner corner the camera just doesn't translate these shades that well like they don't the camera doesn't do it justice actually you know what I'm, i changed my mind let's try this other shade let's do this one for the inner corner i am gonna spray the brush i'm using a damp refer 03 wow but yeah you can see how you need glitter primer with these maybe i just picked up too much it's so pretty now I do have a new mascara from Polite Society, so I am going to pop off camera to take care of all the finishing touches, and I'll be right back to show you the completed look 
and to wrap up today's get ready with me video okay guys so this is the completed look let me tell you quickly some of the products I went in with so I did say I was gonna use the new mascara from polite society this is a travel size mascara it's called greatest lashes of all time I like it if you don't like a wet mascara like a mascara that just kind of you know will get on your eyelid and stuff but this is not going to do that this is a fast drying mascara it's like that comb style um, applicator and i like it i like the separation it gives to my lashes i think it's a nice lengthening mascara as well and i look forward to using it more in the future the Sumerian sunset palette performed so so well i used a little bit of a rare beauty liquid eyeliner to tight line the top lash line and a nyx epic wear eyeliner in the shade orange zest for the lower waterline. I couldn't be more pleased as to how everything just meshed together so well. The lippy is still tingling just a little bit, but it's it's calmed down from its initial like initial reaction, my initial reaction to it. Like that intensity of uh the tingling has subsided. So that's pretty good. I love it paired with the uh unearthly cosmetics lip liner in the shade fiery. Um the Nakia Joy setting powder. This is the pink one. Um I wore this yesterday what concealer did I pair with it? The Huda Beauty Concealer, the Faux Filter Concealer. I didn't like the way they they worked it together. And then the day before, I paired it with, I think it was the Tower, no, it was with the House Labs Concealer. And I wasn't too sure that I liked the way it looked at the end of the day. Right now, I have it on with the new Tower 28. Um, I do like the original one very much. I think it's good at controlling oil. This is going to be more of a brightening one, so specifically more so for the under eye area, but I use it to set my entire T-zone. Um, I think she has some really nice products. I've been wanting to do a Nikia Joy Cosmetics haul. Maybe that's something I can do before the end of the year. We'll see, but you know, so far, I like the way all of my complexion is looking. We started off with the new one from Lawless the forget the filler skin plumbing line smoothing cream i think for me going forward this is something i'm going to use as a moisturizer instead of a primer but uh for those of you out there i think who have really dry skin then maybe this could work for you as a primer i just think for me since i already have like a pretty pretty good uh skincare regimen for the morning um i think i'm gonna start implementing it maybe as a morning moisturizer or even as a nighttime moisturizer it can go either way um the Adept Cosmetics Sumerian Sunset Palette is beautiful outside and in. You will see me creating another look, probably as a YouTube short and Instagram reel. Um, I am going to be doing that uh, sometime this week, if not for sure next week. So definitely be on the lookout for that. But I think it is stunning. Look at that. It almost has like an ombre faux leather packaging. Love it. I think so far the Polite Society foundation, more than a pretty face foundation, I think it's looking pretty good. I like it. It's a medium to full coverage foundation. I am going to do a YouTube short that's going to be a check-in kind of like I guess at the 9 10 hour mark so you guys can see how this makeup wore how it held up throughout the day so um, I'll have that video you guys are probably watching this early in the morning on a Tuesday so I'll have it go up later in the evening same date on Tuesday so be on the lookout for it um, as far as their blush and highlighter palette this is the go flush yourself how cute um, a high a blush and highlighter palette this highlighter looks really really good and it's not too dark like it turned out all right I love these peachy tones but I kind of wish we had more of a pink I think like they're just too similar to one another but I mean peach is always a good neutral it's always a shade that's going to be flattering on so many complexions um, and I like it I like the different finishes that we get in here and so far you know I think these pretty what is it um pretty polite society products <clears throat> i think they're performing really well of course my hourglass jellyfish palette i just use the bronzer that was in here love it tower 28 concealer you guys have seen me use that already and i think that's it that wraps up today's video Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Um, I am so excited. I'm so excited about 
just everything. Like I'm going into September, very optimistic. I'm looking forward to what's to come. And um, I hope you guys are having a good week. I wish you guys nothing but the best. Let me know your thoughts on today's look. Have a good day if I'm catching you as you are heading out the door. And I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. You guys have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, drink your water, and I'm going to see you all very soon. Bye.